When we see this work of Piero Manzoni, uh, we must think uh, that it uh, had a great impact on contemporary art. In fact, uh, this jar is not just a vulgar object as one might think, but one of the first work that give rise to conceptual art, very popular in modern art, and to which uh, I myself am not a fan, I prefer aesthetic pleasure more. But despite this, I believe that uh, this work is very powerful from the point of view of innovation. Manzoni's work is influenced by the famous ready-made of Marshall Duchamp, such as the famous urinatory and beyond uh, the more um, superficially scandalous aspect around uh, at uh, is a preservation as the work of Piero Manzoni, which dates back in 1960. He therefore created a provocative work, but uh, his uh, intent was to make fun of the artwork. The work, it in fact alludes uh, to the idea that as already established artists will find a market and critical consensus for any work he produces beyond its specific quality. In fact, if uh, among um, the first conceptual work, uh, the, first, the first work recognized as conceptual is of the American Joseph Cassett with one of the three chairs from 1966, where the artist questioned himself about the language of the exhibition, his work in three different forms of language, photographic, of language, in uh, reality. In my opinion, however, this is not very usable art of the main of the street uh, because the work are often cryptic and it will be necessary to know the thought behind the work to be able to fully enjoy it uh, and in a um, certain sense uh, these artists try to part good the steer and to impress the weaver to speak to do so and uh, use uh, the, um, the use of mass media to create notoriety such as it was for the banana of Maurice Catalan where the artist intent is to reflect of the value we give things, but it's obvious that uh, is the work had been created by the unknown artist. Is did uh, not have the same success of Catalan, and therefore uh, here uh, here we are connected to the work of Piero Manzoni.